The gentle hum of the evening breeze carried the fragrance of blooming roses through the quiet garden cafe. Emma adjusted her shawl, pulling it closer around her shoulders as she sat at a small table nestled beneath a canopy of twinkling fairy lights. It was a perfect evening, calm, serene, and filled with a quiet anticipation that made her heart flutter. She glanced at the soft glow of the candlelight flickering between her and the empty chair across from her. Tonight wasn't just any night. Her husband, Liam, had promised something special to celebrate their fifth wedding anniversary. Emma had always been a romantic at heart, but life had its way of turning the extraordinary into the mundane. Work, errands, and the endless tide of responsibilities had left little room for the magic they used to share. But Liam had insisted on tonight, a night just for them. She smiled to herself, thinking about how excited he had sounded, urging her to clear her schedule. Her thoughts were interrupted when she saw him approaching. Liam looked effortlessly handsome in a crisp navy shirt that brought out the warmth in his hazel eyes. He was holding something behind his back, his lips curved in a sheepish smile. For the most beautiful woman in the world, he said, revealing a small bouquet of white lilies, her favorite. Emma's cheeks flushed as she took the flowers, breathing in their delicate scent. Trying to win me over already, she teased. Liam pulled out the chair opposite her, sitting down with a dramatic sigh. Emma, I've been trying to win you over since the moment we met. I don't plan on stopping now. They both laughed, the kind of laughter that came easily between two people who knew each other's souls. The waiter appeared with their drinks, a chilled glass of Chardonnay for her and a neat scotch for him. As they clinked glasses, Emma's mind drifted back to their first anniversary. They had been so young then, struggling to find their footing in the world, yet completely lost in each other. Dinner was a delightful affair, filled with lively conversation, shared bites, and stolen glances. They reminisced about their honeymoon in Italy, the day they adopted their dog, Max, and even the silly fights over the thermostat. Liam's laughter was infectious, and Emma couldn't help but think how lucky she was to have a man who could still make her laugh the way he did when they first met. As the meal ended, Liam leaned forward, his expression softening. I have one more surprise for you, he said, his voice low and intimate. Emma raised an eyebrow, intrigued. Another one? You're spoiling me tonight. Liam stood and held out his hand. Come with me. She took his hand, allowing him to guide her through the garden. They walked past the cafe's boundary and into a secluded area lit by soft lanterns. In the center was a thick blanket spread out on the grass, surrounded by flickering candles and small cushions. The sight took Emma's breath away. Liam, she whispered, her voice catching. This is beautiful. He led her to the blanket, sitting down and pulling her close. I wanted to give you the stars tonight, he said, pointing to the clear, starlit sky above them. Emma leaned into him, her heart swelling with love. You always know how to make me feel special, she murmured. But Liam wasn't done yet. He reached behind one of the cushions and brought out a small telescope. I've been practicing, he admitted with a shy smile. I've been learning how to find constellations so we could do it together. Emma felt tears welling up as she looked at him, overwhelmed by the thought and care he had put into the evening. You're incredible, she said, cupping his face. Together, they peered through the telescope, finding Orion's belt and tracing the outline of the Big Dipper. Liam pointed out the Milky Way, his voice filled with boyish excitement as he shared the little facts he had learned. Every word, every moment, felt like a thread weaving them closer together. As the hours slipped by, they lay back on the blanket, holding hands and gazing at the vast expanse of the universe above them. Liam turned to her, his expression tender. You know, he said softly, no star in the sky could ever shine as brightly as you do in my life. Emma's breath caught, and she blinked away tears. You always say the perfect thing, she whispered, her voice trembling with emotion. It's not about being perfect, he said, brushing a strand of hair from her face. It's about meaning every word. They lay there in silence for a while, the world fading away until it was just the two of them and the stars. Emma felt an overwhelming sense of peace and love, a love that had weathered storms, celebrated triumphs, and grown stronger with every passing day. Under that endless sky, 
They made promises to each other, not the kind spoken aloud, but the kind felt in the quiet squeeze of a hand, the steady rhythm of a heartbeat, and the gentle touch of lips meeting in the moonlight. It was a night they would both remember, a reminder that even amidst the chaos of life, their love was a constant, unwavering as the stars.